right, so it's bright and early Monday morning. Uh, Grandpa and I, I'm off school and Grandpa took off work today. So first off, uh, got this tire off the old 4250. We're gonna take it into town and have them patch it at the tire shop. While we're going in, we got uh, a couple hoses on this loader that really need to be replaced. So we're gonna have them rebuild that while we are around all day on a weekday when the shop's opened. And then uh, I got a load of feed coming for some bulls we're gonna feed out and try to sell as uh, purebred Charlie bulls. In between all that, we're just gonna be working on some fence down below. We've got quite a bit of fence work we're wanting to get done down there. So we're just piecing it together a little bit at a time. So we just got the firewood unloaded out of this truck. Grandpa's getting the hoses off right now. So I'm gonna go over there and pick them all up. All right, so we're getting the welder put on the pickup right now so we can, uh, after we set the corners, we can weld the braces on them. All right, we got the trailer all hooked up. We're gonna go get the skid loader, the forks, the pa uh, post digger, concrete, water, all that kind of stuff. Load it up and we're gonna head down. <laughs> Years ago, Grandpa and Dad put cows down here, but they quit for probably 20 years, and now we're starting back over again, so not a lot to do. So we're putting a post there. There's gonna be a wire gate from this post to this post, just in case the cows get into the neighbor's place. And then we're putting a post there, put a post nine feet later, make an H brace, and then uh, I don't know if we'll either just stretch that old wire back on those, or we'll put a new fence up here. We're not sure yet. And then on that end, we got the old fence tore out, uh, last year we stopped about right there so this year we're going to keep putting fence I don't know how far down we're going to go but that's just about ready to start but uh, power company came and cleared out a bunch of trees and the power lines which helped us with getting that fence ready anyways so after we get these two posts set uh, we can't stretch any wire on them until the concrete uh, sets for a couple of days so as soon as we do that we're going to start getting some of the trees they cut up moved out of the fence line over there and cut down any more we need to. So we got this first post set and leveled. We're getting con we got the concrete in it and we're tamping it just to make sure the concrete mixes with the water good. And we'll get, we'll get the next hole done. So right here's where the hot wire fence ended. All right, there goes up there. That's where the hot wire fence ended this year. So our goal is just to keep making it bigger every year and fixing this fence as we go. So hopefully this year we got some wheat planted uh, down over the hill. So hopefully next fall they'll be able to graze that volunteer wheat that grows there and we'll plant some uh, rye for them to eat over the wheat after we harvest it. Well, the welder's dead. So, the battery on it. So we're gonna go get a little bit of wood on that trailer and then take the welder home to get a charger put on it. All right, so we got the trailer loaded up with wood. Uh, we got a battery charger on the welder now we got her home so we're gonna unhook the goose neck and uh, eat lunch real fast and then we head back down there and get the H brace welded up on the post so I'm grandpa and grandma cooking I got the water rolling over here and then 
come up here at the house. This is where all the heifers are. We got all those hot wire done. We made the place a little bigger for that nut room. Just getting out of that nutty lot as much as we can. So then we uh, got this path cleared out enough to get a tractor down here. And uh, so then we got a second hay ring down there to keep them out of that lot as much as possible. So they're all down here. These ladies are right out 20 days out from cabin, so I'm looking forward to that. Except for uh, not looking forward to waking up at 2 in the morning and checking them. Alright, so we just got done eating lunch. Um, sister and I are down here, we're going to check the cows real fast. Grandpa's on his way down. He's uh, getting some stuff in the pickup. We're probably going to set one more post on this east fence. We got enough wood moves we can get a post set, I think. Um, so we came down here, we're going to count the cows, give them salt and mineral, give them a bucket of grain, Try to get all those idiots over there to come over here, and uh, check and see if anybody's bagging up yet. We're, like I said, about 20 days out from calving for the first bunch, and the second bunch is 90 days out. Just dumped the salt and mineral, but those idiots still aren't coming over here, so I guess we'll drive over there real fast. These panels got... Uh, knock shut so that's probably why they weren't coming over i guess get these open back up and i will I'll try to dump some grain all right so i'm going to check to see if the wire's hot got to touch that touch the metal post touch the wire Not getting a very good spark. It's barely sparking, so I'm guessing I've got it. Uh, it's grounded out somewhere, a deer or something probably hit it. And the wire looks awfully loose. I don't like that. So we're gonna drive it and make sure we don't see any posts that are, or insulators that are knocked off and see if we can figure out where the problem is. You can see a deer must have ran through here because the insulator is clear over here. So I'm glad I found it before. All the cows got out. All right, we got her back up. Let's see if that fixes the problem. No, it really doesn't. Man, just see if there's another spot that's grounded out, I guess. Sure enough, here's another spot that's grounded out. All right, well, I found the problem of why it's grounded out. There's one, two, three, four, five posts in a row that the, po the uh, wire's on the ground. You can hear it grounding out. All right, now let's see if that fixed the problem. It's a little better. These painted posts aren't always the greatest to test them on here. I'll try the steel post. Those painted posts, sometimes you don't get a great connection when you're testing it. Yep, I like that. All right, so now we're getting this brace welded up. After this, we may go set one more post on that east end we got enough wood moved but i got a load of feed coming for some bulls we're uh, feeding out so i may have to uh take the skid loader home and go unload that first Got her switched over from the forks to the digger. Gotta go get one more hole dug before we have to be back at the house. Looks like Grandpa's gonna get rid of one more tree branch before we uh, start digging. We're hitting rock and it's not uh, digging through it, so we're gonna clean off the bit and try to get those points where they can cut up the rock. All right, so we got the hole dug. We hit rocks. We didn't get it nearly as deep as we want to be, but. Uh, oh well, so we got the forks in the back of the truck and grandpa's carrying the postal digger home. We've got to get back to get the uh, feed unloaded at 3 and it's 2.40 now. So grandpa's going to start driving that and I'm going to take the pickup ahead just in case they get here early and meet them at the farm. Then we'll come back down here and set one more post tonight and 
that'll probably be about it. Since we're taking the skid loader home, we can't dig any more holes. All right, we got this uh, post set. We're only gonna get one set tonight. We're gonna make an H brace here, but we don't have time to do it tonight. So after we get the H brace set welded, corners welded on it, we'll run five wires and T-posts from here, clear down there. That's gonna be a project for this winter, but as long as we can get the post in the ground before the ground freezes, we can work on that in the cold. So we're, Grandpa and I are just getting rid of a couple of these thorn trees that are on the side of the field that hit the combine while we're down here and have a little bit of extra time. All right, that's probably gonna be about it for the night. We got the truck kind of filled up with wood the rest of the way with the room we had. Don't have a ton of room with all the stuff in there, but we got those two posts set on that side of the field and uh, that post set right there. Like I said, we gotta get an H brace put there and then we'll uh, run the five wires, put the posts in. Probably have to put a couple of line posts, either small pipes or uh, big hedge posts, which we got some really nice hedge trees that have been cut down that we're thinking about using as posts. And then uh, Grandpa and I kind of walked down there and walked out and talked about what we, how we wanted to get this fence built going the rest of the way down there and how much we were gonna fence in. All right, so it's about sunset now. Uh, we're getting this combine pulled out because we're getting new tires put on her tomorrow. So uh, we're getting it pulled out so the guy can come on and work on it while Grandpa's at work. All right, so now I gotta get this power to feed put inside the shed. All right, so now I'm going to get the red pickup and I gotta get uh, the welder taken out of the back of it. All right, getting everything put away for the night.